from the genius way he paid for his college tuition to where he ranks among the world's wealthiest. Here are the 15 things you didn't know about Elon Musk. Number 15, Origins. Elon Musk was born in 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa. He lived there until the age of 17 when he moved to Kingston, Canada, in order to avoid the mandatory military service required of South African citizens. There he attended the prestigious Queen's University before moving to the United States, where he finished his undergraduate studies at the University of Pennsylvania with two bachelor degrees, one in physics and one in economics. He became an American citizen in 2002, and his main residence is currently in Bel Air, California. Number 14, Dropout. After graduating from the University of Pennsylvania, he set his sights on getting his doctorate in energy physics. He was accepted into one of the best graduate programs for science in the United States at Stanford University, so he packed up and moved across the country to California. His attendance didn't last long, however, as after two days, he grew bored with class and decided he'd rather get right down to business and dropped out to form the company, Zip2, with his brother, Kimball. Number 13, Zip2. The Musk brothers founded the company Zip2 in 1995 on the idea of creating an online version of Yellow Pages. They used a $28,000 loan from their father to start, and after finally finding some prominent investors, the company took off, becoming one of the main creators of business directories and maps for the websites of newspapers throughout the country. Only four years later, the Musk brothers had multiplied that initial $28,000 almost 11,000 times as they sold Zip2 to the computer company Compaq for $307 million. Elon's cut of which was $22 million. Number 12, PayPal. Musk used the money he made from the sale of Zip2 to help found the website X.com, which would eventually merge with the company Confinity and become the online banking and money transfer service juggernaut, PayPal. Three years after starting XCOM, PayPal was sold to eBay for a whopping $1.5 billion. Notably, Musk wouldn't be the only former employee of PayPal that would go on to further success, as the founders of LinkedIn, Yelp, YouTube, and the current CEO of Reddit all worked there and are part of what is now referred to as the PayPal Mafia. Number 11, McCrashin F1. Back in his days at PayPal, Musk purchased a brand new McLaurin F1, which was at the time the fastest car in the world and cost him around $1 million. However, the thrills that come with owning one out of 106 of these cars that were made didn't last long. Only a couple of years later, during a reckless ride with fellow billionaire Peter Thiel, he hit an embankment and totaled the car. The worst part? He never insured the car. His reasoning? I had read all those stories about people who made money and bought sports cars and crashed them but I knew it would never happen to me, so I didn't get any insurance. Number 10, club tuition. Education can be expensive, and though he is a billionaire now, Musk was once a broke college student who spent nights worrying about how he was gonna pay for his tuition. Except Musk isn't the normal person. He didn't worry too long, as he was born with an entrepreneurial super brain and quickly thought of a brilliant way to make money. Along with his best friend, he rented a mansion and turned it into a nightclub-themed party hotspot, charging a $5 admission. With parties that sometimes reached upwards of 500 people, he no longer had to worry about debt after graduation. Number 9. Cheap Date Another way that Musk helped to pay for his education and save money for his future was by surviving on very little. In several interviews, he has said that he spent less than a dollar a day on food in college fueling his studies with cheap noodles that he dressed up with free condiments, like red pepper packets. So, if you're currently a college student scraping by, or will be in the future, you can add extra flavor to that ramen with the thought that even some of the most successful businessmen have had to pay for food with pocket change. Number eight, triple and double. Though he is only 46, Musk has already had a whirlwind personal life, having been married three times. In his defense, two of the marriages were to the same person, 
Tallulah Riley, though they both ended in divorce. His first marriage to Justine Wilson produced all five of his children. His five children are all boys, and in what sounds like a bit of barroom trivia, were all born within a three-year span. In fact, the five Musk boys were the result of only two pregnancies, as in 2004, Justine had twins and followed that up with triplets in 2006. The bountiful pregnancies were products of in vitro fertilization, which does significantly increase the odds for multiple births. The boys are named Saxon, Griffin, Damien, Kai, and Xavier, who he admitted was named after Professor X from the X-Men comic books. The boon of offspring couldn't have come to more deserving parents, as their first son, Nevada, did not live past infancy. Number 7. Wiz Kid even before reaching puberty, Musk had come into his own as a wizard with technology. He coded his first video game at the age of 12, and of course, it was space-themed. The game was called Blastar, and he actually sold the code to a magazine called PC and Office Technology for $500. The game itself is very simple. You are a spaceship that tries to fight off alien ships with a laser gun. It doesn't look like much but it is an impressive feat when you consider it was made in the early 80s and Musk was only 12 years old. Thanks to Thomas Yorette, a software engineer for Google, you can now find a playable version of Blastar online. Number six, awards and honors. Over his career, which continues to skyrocket towards legendary innovator status, Musk has picked up several prestigious awards. In 2010, the Federation Aeronautique Internationale also known as the World Air Sports Federation, bestowed on him the Gold Space Medal, which is one of their highest honors. In 2013, Fortune magazine named him Business Person of the Year. Though there are many other awards he has won, one of the most esteemed lists he has made was when Esquire put him at number 39 on their list of the 75 most influential people of the 21st century, which, with his current endeavors, we can't see him leaving in the foreseeable future. Number five, Money Man Musk. Elon Musk is one of the richest people in the world, but where exactly does he rank among the world's wealthiest? Well, with his current net worth of just over $20 billion, he currently holds the position of the 58th richest person in the world. What is more astonishing is his place as the seventh richest person on earth under the age of 50. With his brilliant knack for being ahead of the curve on technology and his tone-setting dealings in the field of space travel, it isn't hard to see him eventually overtaking Gates and the closer in age Zuckerberg in the near future. Speaking of Gates and Zuckerberg, Musk has recently joined them in the Giving Pledge movement, which is a willful promise some of the world's wealthiest have made to donate the majority of their wealth to charity over the years. Number 4. Gigafactory one of the projects that Elon Musk holds most dear to his heart is that of the Gigafactory. In what Musk claims will be the biggest building in the world, the Gigafactory, currently being built in the desert of Nevada, he hopes to become the leading manufacturer of rechargeable, eco-friendly lithium-ion batteries and run the whole shebang on wind and solar power. He not only has broken ground on this site, but has at least four other gigafactories in the works in Europe and North America. Nevada has already felt a significant impact in its economy from the factory, which, although it was technically opened in 2016, isn't anticipated to be fully completed until 2020. And several experts have predicted that the state could earn billions on a yearly basis by merely hosting it. Number three, the Musk who loved me. If you've ever seen the 1977 James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me, you will recognize this car. It's a Lotus Esprit S1, also known as Wet Nelly, and you might remember it having the cool feature of being able to turn into a submarine. As you can probably guess, the car couldn't really transform in real life. Well, that didn't bother Musk, as he was such a big fan of the movie, especially this gadget-laden car, that he decided to buy it. He bought it at an auction in 2013 for close to $1 million, and if you haven't learned anything about Elon Musk, you probably realize that he wouldn't be content in just keeping this beauty in the garage. No, not only does he drive it, but he has been busy modifying and customizing it so that it can actually convert into a submarine, and of course, 
made it completely electrified with a souped-up Tesla electric powertrain. Number 2. Real Life Tony Stark If you've seen any of the live-action Iron Man movies, you will know that the main character of Tony Stark is a suave yet brash billionaire genius who almost has no filter between his brain and his mouth. Robert Downey Jr. plays the role excellently with controlled bravado and just a hint of quirkiness. What does this have to do with Elon Musk? Well, if you know anything about Musk's personality, the traits we just listed might sound familiar. This is more than just a coincidence, as Downey actually based much of his portrayal of Tony Stark off the mannerisms and attitude of Musk. A big comic book fan himself, Musk was flattered by this and even appeared in a cameo role in Iron Man 2. Number 1. Dragon Musk has recently made significant strides with his company SpaceX and successfully test-launched Falcon Heavy, the most powerful working rocket in the world. But before that, Musk and SpaceX had already changed the game when it comes to space travel. One could even say that he helped bring it into the 21st century with their revolutionary Dragon spacecraft that is completely reusable. They helped reduce the cost of transporting cargo to the International Space Station from $1 billion to $60 million, a cost reduction of over 90%. Dragon also has the distinction of being the first commercial spacecraft to ever dock at the International Space Station and the first commercially operated spacecraft to be recovered after achieving orbit. Since its first supply trip in 2012, Dragon has successfully completed 11 out of 12 missions as part of the commercial resupply service contract SpaceX has with NASA. 